All right, guys, Josh Thackeray here reporting for Spurred On. We've just beat Sunderland 4-1 at the lane. I've got young Reggie with me. Reggie, what did you make of that game? Good. Your best player? Ericsson. Ericsson. Anyone else? Kane. Yeah. And what was your favourite goal? Ericsson third. Okay, big Ericsson fan we've got over here. Um, tell me, um, how was the first half? Were you, were you nervous when we went 1-0 down? Yeah, very. Yeah. And, and what did we do to come back? Well, well, straight away we just like ran straight away. We did. And tell me, out of the four goals, which one's your favourite one? I know it's going to be an Ericsson one, isn't it? Which one was it? It's got to be the third. The third goal. Yeah, I, I think most of you guys would agree that, that that goal was a beauty. Probably go down on, on, a, on a DVD somewhere. Are we going to finish top four, Reggie? Yeah. Yeah. And tell me, who would you like to bring in if you had that checkbook? If you were Daniel Levy, who would you sign? Berrino. Another Berrino, guys. Another Berrino. Steve, I've got Steve here. Steve, um, nice to meet you. Right, tell me, what was, what was that then? That was good. That was back to business. Should we be excited about that or is that just... Um, I think so. If we, as long as we carry on playing like we did in the second half, yeah, a lot better. Um, first half, very slow. Um, lots of sideways and, and passing back. But as long as we push forward and keep going, I, I think play like we did the second half, more urgency. We're, you know, we're gonna Why do you think we were slow in the first half? What would you nail that down to? I have got no idea, but um, for whatever reason, there's just no urgency in the play, uh, lots of trepidation. Whether the Leicester game took some confidence out of them for a, for a bit, I don't know, but um, hopefully they, you know, that's all gone and they're getting back to winning ways now. I mean, I spoke about the, uh, the penetration in pre-match analysis and how we need to penetrate more and bomb on with runners more and make p possession count, because yeah. possession is nothing, isn't it, without Absolutely. penetration. Yeah. We seem to have done that in the second half. Any key kind of players you want to you wanna pick out there if you had to choose man of the match, who would you go for? Um, I think Moose was great. Ericsson, um, much better in the second half, obviously. Uh, Trippier was really, really good down on that right-hand side. Really good. Um, his final ball is pretty good as well. Quite skillful guy. Um, yeah, Kane, his hold-up play, again, brilliant. Kept, it, kept us in there and, and kept the ball up there and, and kept the pressure on. So... Yeah, that brilliant. Ericsson's been mentioned quite a bit. You know, he had a fantastic game. I'm sure he'll be, you know, getting all the reviews. Where would you play him if you had to pick one position? Um, he seems to favour that number 10 role um, and, and that is probably his best best place to keep him. Um, he does seem to drift off if, if you play him out on the wi uh, wide, but um, yeah, keep him in the number 10 role and, and mix the other two up. Yeah, fantastic. OK, now transfer window. We haven't got long to go. Who should we be bringing in? I think everyone's going for Berrino. Um, but what about his attitude? I think Poch, Poch might have a go at that and uh, and might get him to knuckle down. It may be his, his behaviour is no good because um, he wants out, but um, let, let's see. Yeah, absolutely. And I think with, with Peace, you know, the chairman at West Brom, you know, it's not necessarily a done deal, is it? Now, are we going to finish top four? Almost certainly, yeah. I, I think top four is definite for us this year. Um, maybe even top three. Reg thinks top three, so yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to go with Reg top three. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Reggie. Thanks Let us know what you guys think at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel, YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.